buckle up, my lovelies, because our next guest uh, may be known as a petrol head, but these days he traded the grinding gears for his global adventures. Yeah, after exploring the wonders of Japan and sampling the delights of Italy, James May is back on the road, and this time he's taking on India. Is this Indian head massage? I'll just wait till I've got my face back. Thank you. Would you like to go? <laughs> it's India's 23rd official language, the horn. <laughs> this is fantastically miserable. Can we have a brolly or is that not allowed? <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your hospitality. It's a very nice place you have here. This is a real India. This is India. Watch this. <laughs> At least I now look like My Little Pony. Looks so good. Uh, James joins us now. Hi, Welcome James. back. Thank so you. So, how me. was India? It's one place I've always wanted to go. You've not been? Never. You must go. Everybody should go. It's, uh, it's riotous. I, I mean, it's a great adventure. It's uh, all the things that people say about it. It's colourful, it's chaotic in places. Uh, other places, it's serene and quiet. It's, um, it's, it's not as scary as people imagine. You should, it, it just go and, and let it happen to you. It's well, fantastic. I've just seen you at the, the Holy Festival, yeah. and that is one thing I've always wanted to do. What's it like to, to be involved in everyone throwing... Well, don't wear your best ..powder clothes. on you, yeah. really? No, uh, the powder... It's, it's basically... Um, we used to call it poster paint powder, and it, it's, it's all related to um, Hindu myths and so on about people painting each other's faces, but, but essentially you, you throw coloured powder at each other. It was a very difficult piece to camera to do because we were behind the big riot <laughs> disco and I knew we'd only get one chance because as soon as I went out to try and tell the story about the legend and the holy festival, people would start throwing the paint at me. So obviously you can't then say, oh, well, I've take two because I'm already covered in <laughs> Your paint. Your version of that guy with the, with the rocket years ago in Cape Canaveral. Exactly. <laughs> not, not quite as impressive, but James Burke with the, with the launch at Cape Canaveral, exactly. And also, of course, the camera and the sound guys, they knew as soon as they went out, yeah. they'd get maybe half a minute with me before they were covered in paint and the camera was covered in paint oh, and yeah. the sound boom got painted. I mean, it, all, it can all be cleaned off, but... Is it easy to it, come out? Except in your hair. <laughs> so I ended up with hair with sort of yellow. You see it later on in the show, and I say I look like My Little Pony, and I do. And it's sort of yellow with a bit of green and a bit of purple, and it simply <laughs> wouldn't come out. And I said to the director, we'll, we'll just have to carry on, and you'll have to, you'll have to show it in order. Well, it's because, the truth. Yeah, because yeah. this is what happened. But after a while, I began to quite like the look. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about having it done again when I got home. Yeah. And James, yeah, India yeah. is such a, a wonderful mesh of religions and cultures and different peoples. Was there anywhere that you found to be your sweet spot? Was there anywhere that you really loved more than, more than anywhere else? Well, I like... I mean, for excitement, uh, uh, you know, the, the sort of the bustle bit, so Mumbai, obviously, Delhi, and you go into the chook and you do the street food and, and, um, and you wander around the old colonial bits, that's all fantastic. But I actually like places like Udaipur, and, and I like the Sundermans, where we went down to see the tiger yeah. business, um, because that is very idyllic, and, and the, the colours are beautiful, and, it, and it's quiet, and there's no cars there, so you don't get the constant eh, 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 yeah. that, that you get everywhere else in India. Um, but Udaipur is, is a... I suppose you'd call it a small town, and it's... It's quite romantic. You can just go walk around it or go around it on a bicycle, and you and it's just it's just the real life mm. of, a, of a sort of nice, nice Indian town, very picturesque. Plenty of things to eat, plenty of things to look at, yeah. nice places to sit around. And, and then... do you love the travels? And do you love meeting people? Because you always, you know, I don't know you well, but what I know of you, you're a man who you, know, you love your detail and you love your machines and you love the, you know, you're, you seem like quite a solitary creature in many ways. But do you, do you find that kind of meeting people and speaking to people and uh, you know, and having that lovely kind of kaleidoscope quite well, exciting. I think it's... Yes, it is exciting. I also think, to be honest, it's good for me because I wouldn't say I was a solitary person, but I can quite easily become obsessed with... Richard Hammond always mocks me for this, very small things and staring <laughs> at them for hours, you know, like the inside of a clock or a penknife or something. Yeah. So, actually, it's... You know, being, being out there with people I don't know and having to... Um, you know, respect cultures, remain polite and so on. I don't really have any difficulty doing that, but it's slightly outside of my natural comfort zone, yeah. I'd say. It's, it's gregarious. So, 
And hopefully that's part of what makes it work, because I think people sense that, ooh, here go, James is going to go into the Holy Festival, mm. he's going to get covered in paint, and that's not what he'd normally do. And, no, uh, that's true. It's yeah. not what I'd normally do. Oh, it's what we love but about it's great. you. It's <laughs> what we love about you, though. And I know you've been to India before uh, with Top Gear, and do you prefer it, this solo adventure? Are you preferring this a lot not better without the boys there oh, yeah, distracting you? I can, nobody, I can just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> nobody can stop me. <laughs> well, apart from the director and the sound man and the camera people and everybody else who constantly interrupts and tells me how to do it. But, yes, it's, 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 not, it's nice having the other two... You know, three is a difficult number in television and it, it, it naturally makes for good television because there's always a bit of tension, there's always a bit of ganging up one way or the other, there's always an outsider. Yeah. But you have somebody to bounce off and, you know, we have our natural differences, which is what makes the, the, the supposedly legendary chemistry of us three work. Just... But when you're on your own, mm. yeah. you, can, you, can, you can do what you want. That's we amazing. have to ask you about, is it Tollywood, which is the Bengali language rival to Bollywood? And you do yes. a bit of acting while you're out. Or smell a BAFTA. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, it, was, it got very complicated because we were very keen to do something on the Indian film industry, film and TV, because it's massive, obviously, and India's such a populous country, even, even a relatively small show has a massive audience, you know, millions of people. <laughs> So we spoke to people, we decided to do Tollywood rather than Bollywood because it's slightly well, uh, less well-known outside of India. And I was, you know, I wanted something like a cameo role in their equivalent of uh, East They Ender, gave you yeah. a massive part, didn't they? Well, I, I had to play the part of a Scottish <laughs> theologian in the 19th century. And they actually gave me the script in Bengali. <laughs> Amazing. First, and I said, no, Listen, and that was uh, only the day before. And I said, well, I can't possibly do this. You'll have to let me do it in English. Brilliant. Can you do a Scottish accent? No. The BAFTA's on its James, way. James, thank you. James May, our man in India, out today on Prime Video. Thank you, James. Thanks. All right. We're